a battle over Sofia Vergara's unborn girls. It's one thing to file a lawsuit and say, this should be my legal right. But when you write an op-ed piece about something like this, it's clear that you're also trying to make a public statement and potentially remain in the public eye. In a celebrity legal battle. This is a dispute about the custody of embryos. He also doesn't want to let these two embryos essentially die. It feels like he's trying to keep Sofia Vergara in his life. Here's how Hollywood exes go to war. First, the timing. Nick's op-ed appeared just hours before Sofia's premiere for Hot Pursuit tonight in Los Angeles, and a week before she gets a star on the Walk of Fame. Nick got extremely personal, explaining how he and Sofia agreed to use in vitro fertilization and a surrogate to have children. Babies in the future? Maybe, maybe, maybe. In the future, maybe. She needs to replicate. Absolutely. Yeah. My boyfriend Nick, he's three years younger than me and he's never had a son. So I wanted to make sure I already froze some eggs. So, you know, I wanted to to take advantage of science. Nick goes on to share his heartbreak over trying to become a dad. An earlier girlfriend had an abortion, his surrogate with Sophia miscarried, and he writes that he wanted children with the actress so bad, quote, I gave her an ultimatum. When she refused, we split up. So does Nick have a case? Well, he admits in the op-ed, quote, we signed a form stating that any embryos created through the process could be brought to term only with both parties' consent. Now she doesn't want to do it, they're not together. He's got two problems. Number one is exactly what he signed in the contract, which suggests they both need to agree. And number two is his particular case isn't even a sympathetic one because he could go have children elsewhere. Gosh, so many issues involved so here. Many, yes. Well, Sophia's attorney has said Nick's claims, quote, hold no merit, adding the actress wants to keep the embryos frozen.